doing, so let's just go ahead and jump in here. Number one uh, says square root of 8 times square root of 7. Well, without using the calculator, guess what that would be? I know. 56. Square root of 56. Yeah. However, square root of 56 does simplify. We actually, you can do this two ways. You can simplify over here, like, or you can simplify over here. Um, actually, if you have to, and if you have to do it by hand, it'd be easier to do it over here. You can do it over here. Uh, the thing is, if you do it over here, you should bring, break this down at the same time, the 7. The 7 doesn't really break down, but... Um, Four squared is 14. You won't work, Sean? No, that's not right. It's 2 square root of 14. No, I'm not going to. If you have a calculator that can do it, I'm not going to. Some of these are cubed roots, so the calculator can't do it. Speaking of, number three, right off the start here, this is B. Well, three works out nicely, so that's an exception. Even Will's calculator can do number three. <coughs> it can. I'll take my word for it. Well, I can't figure out how to do the cube roots. Yeah. Oh, well, there's a button on your calculator. Where? It's probably right above the square root, like the shift square root. Yeah, button. I tried that one. Everything's the Hey, hey, hey. Real quick. Will's about to reach for the last five. It was like, everyone had three minutes. I ain't that's math. He needs a buffer. He just figured it out. Alright. Did it really? Well, I've tried this before and it hasn't worked. Well, my shit is to try it right. So, it's cubed root of 64, but there actually is a cubed root of 64. It's four. Okay, that's that's not gonna happen later, but right now that they're still kind of easy. So, okay, number five. What kind of problem does this look like? Distributive. Distributive, yes, and that's what you do. This is probably you can you can do it on a lot of calculators, but this is probably one of those where it's faster not to. Hey, I did not say you could move. I didn't say you could move, Trevor. My stuff was here when I got moved, so I thought. Oh, well, I didn't, I didn't, it's probably her, but I didn't tell her she could uh, move, or he, you could move. Yeah. Well, I was just confused because my stuff was right here, so I was like, oh, okay. Well, no, when they said Emily wasn't here, you were like, oh, okay. So they probably... Well, that was for her. He wasn't in, even in the room. I just gotta keep her and Emily apart. All right, so what's this? Seven times three? 21 plus, what's seven times square root of two? Seven square root of two. So is there like? So would that be terms? No. Remember from yesterday, if they're not like terms, they don't add together. Yeah, it's kind of like 21 plus seven X doesn't mix. 28 so square root of 6. Nope. It still wouldn't work even if there were square roots and there was a Huh? I'm talking about 6. Because it has a. Um, 6. Um, like, what do you. It's kind of the same thing. It's just. You can't. No, they don't mix. Oh. You, you put the square root of 5, multiply it on both of them, but they don't mix. So. Okay. Number se uh, 7 is a lot like 6. Crazy. I know, I was just wondering what the, the, the x is. Okay, what square to 3 times 2? Wait. 2 square to 3. <coughs> no, they don't mix. Okay, don't mix. <laughs> what square to 3 times square to 3? 3. three. three. Do these mix add together? No. no. If they did, we would have done it in the parentheses, but they, and they don't. That's kind of what we were talking about yesterday, this adding and subtracting square roots. <coughs> what kind of problem does this look like? Uh, oil. oil, yes, and it is. Um, okay. 
So what would the first be? 25. 25. Outside. Five squared. Inside. Negative five squared. So we need to cancel out. Yeah. And last. Negative square root of two times positive square root of two. Negative two, negative two. Right. Negative and then square root of two times square root of two is two. Yeah, these are on number nine, these are conjugates. So that you guys remember talking about conjugates? They're like the same, but one's a minus, one's a plus. That always makes the middle two terms cancel out. So we could have just done first and last. So it's just 25 minus 2. Are we just using oil for this? Yes. Number 11. How do I do 1 minus square root of 3 squared? It's like, so you just put like an oil problem. Yes, it's, it's like a foil problem. You cannot square them both individually. You need to take the whole thing times itself, like a FOIL problem. Why square? Yeah. Negative one squared. Hold on. So the first, Y times Y. Okay. And then the outside, what's Y times negative square root of 3? Negative Y square root of 3. Okay. Yeah, but you probably, yeah. Probably put the letter in front. Why Why do you think, so normally we put the letter in the back, but why do you think we don't want to put the letter right there? Because it looks, looks, like, it looks like it might be in the square root. So if there's a letter with on the outside of the square root, they usually put it in front. Okay, that's the outside. What's the inside? Maybe. Same thing, right? Last negative square root of three times negative square root of three mm -hmm. is positive, right? Negative times negative is positive three. Okay, what, is there anything else I can do? These two guys, right? What's minus one of these minus one of these? Positive negative two. Minus two. Okay, it's not positive because that would be a multiply thing. We're not multiplying. Oh, you're it's it's kind of like what's backwards one step, backwards one step. It's not positive one, it's negative two. Anyway, so negative, negative two, two y squared is three. So a little bit tricky, this. Call that a medium difficulty. Yeah, that'd be a worse. <laughs> Fifteen is scary. No. I don't know how to push it. It's just scary because we haven't done one yet. Yeah. So, well, we're on thirteen now, right? Yeah. Okay, thirteen is seven plus two i, seven minus two i. Um, you guys know what's special about this one? We, we've done one of these like, I don't know, a couple chapters ago. But they are conjugates, again, just like number whatever. Which one was it? Nine? So you can foil the whole thing, but on conjugates, you don't have to do outside. Yeah, you don't have to do outside inside because they'll cancel each other out. You can foil it like normal. It would work. But what I'm saying is really all you need to do is first and last. Okay, what is first? What's seven times seven? What's the last? Two I times negative two I. Negative four I. Okay, two times negative two is negative four. I times I is I squared. Okay, way back when we learned that I squared is actually worth negative one. So really this is 49 minus four times negative one. What's negative four times negative one? Plus four. Plus four. Or multiplying now, not adding. So 49 plus four is three.
Okay, 15. They do not want you to plug this in the calculator. Uh, the calc it would be gigantic, huge numbers. When you use exponents, they get really big, really fast. Um, did I did I talk to you about the how many people in, are in generations back? Did I give that example to you guys? No. Okay. How many parents do you have? Very, very, very. Two. Two. Okay, let's not get four, six, yeah. Okay, you got two parents. Biological. Biological. Okay, we're not, yeah, we're not talking about this person adopted me and I have a stepdad and that. No, just, you have two biological parents. Okay, how many grandparents do you have? Well, each of your, each of your two parents has two parents, right? So, there's four. How many great-grandparents do you have? Eight. Eight. So times another. Each of them has two. So times two for that. So you, three generations back, your great-grandparents, you have two times two times two. How many great-great-grandparents do you have? Okay. So if you go like ten generations back, which would be like eight greats, Grandparents, how many do you have? Have I done this example uh, before? A thousand twenty-four. I think you have. Yeah. 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 I think I mentioned this before. So you had a thousand direct uh, people you're related to just in one generation. Uh, Ten years ago, a generation about thirty years. So about three hundred years ago, there was a thousand people that you were descended from. With, which, this doesn't work perfectly because if like a cousin marries a fourth cousin, it doesn't have, to, which they might not know they're fourth cousins or seventh cousins or whatever. This will be some overlap, so there won't be a thousand. But well, if you think about it, if we all descended from two people, we're all cousins. Yeah. But usually, it's, it's so far away that you just can't. Yeah. Okay, we're getting off. Blue eyes. Eyes. So I heard this, guys. <laughs> we're getting off. There's a bunch of incest in Oklahoma for sure. Oh my lord. No, you thinking Okay. Anyways. Okay, this, do you guys remember the rule for this? What's x to the third times x to the second? Right, you add the exponents. But that trick only works if the base is the same. So these bases are not the same, so we cannot add their exponents. But I can change four into a base two. Four is two to the what? Two to the second. So I have 2 to the 65th times 2 to the 2nd to the 10th. Okay, all I did was change 4 into 2 to the 2nd. What's the rule on exponents right here? Multiply. Multiply. So this is 2 to the 20th. So I have 2 to the 65th times 2 to the 20th. Now what do I do with the exponents? Add. So it's 2 to the 85th. So if 2 to the 10th is 1,000, just by multiplying 2 to 10 times, 2 to the 85th, it gets bigger faster and faster and faster. So it's way bigger than what can fit on your calculator. So what would something like 14 be when you have it? What in the world would be I just looked at this thing. Okay. <laughs> this is why we pay attention. This is why you don't sit by Dylan. <laughs> no bull. Baloney. This one's kind of weird. I don't know exactly why they asked this, but uh, this is distributive property, right? So what's 2 to the 40 times 2 to the 11? 2 to the 51. Okay, that part we can simplify. This next part, whoops, does not simplify. 
So we're just going to put minus 3 times 2 to the 40th. Oh. Doesn't really work. That doesn't equal 6, by the way, because those 2's exponents come before multiplication, so you can't do 3 times 2. There's not really a simpler way to write that. How do you do something with x is like 14 and 16? Yes. Uh, so on 14, 25, we can turn that into what? 5 to the what? 30. No. 5, Five to, to the 2nd second. Second times 15. Why is I mean, the 3. Okay. We can make these the same base of 5 if I change 25 into what? 5 to the 2nd. 5 to the 2nd. Because 5 squared equals 25. But that 3 so. is still out there. The three is still there. So uh, altogether though, this is five six, to the six. sixth. So would that be it? Five x times five mm, Well, no. Plus. It will be five squared, or no, five to the six x. No, what's the rule when you're multiplying the same base? Add. Add, add right? So it's six plus six. Plus six. X. x plus six. <laughs> That was not 17. So, um, 16, would that just be like 16 is going to be kind of similar to that. But it's it's adding again. Okay, now I'm going to let you guys try it on your own. 19. How do we find the area of a rectangle? Okay, so to find the area, we just need to multiply those two things together. 5 plus square root of 3 times 4 minus square root of 3. So it's the whole thing times the whole thing. What kind of problem does this look like? Foil. Okay, so first, what's first? 5 times 4 is 20. 20. What's outside? 5 times square root or square root of negative 3. Just to be negative 5 square root of 3. Negative 5 square root of 3. What's inside? Square root of 3 times 4. So that's, is that, I don't know, it's 4 square root of 3. Plus 4 square root of 3. And then what's the last? Square root of cubed or squared square root of 3. What's square root of 3 times square root of 3? Nah, square root of 9. What's square root of 9? 3. Three. Anytime you take a square root times itself, it just becomes that. Okay, is it plus or minus though? Minus. 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 There's one negative. Okay, is there anything else we can do to that? Yeah, because what's 20 and minus 3? 17. And then minus five square root of three plus four. Negative one or just negative minus square root of three. Hmm? Uh, what's different about, how do you find the area of a triangle? You divide by two at the end. Wait, can you scroll up? So on twenty, you multiply. It's it's a lot easier multiplication because it's just one term times one term, but you divide by two at the end. When you divide by two, you only divide the normal number by two. You don't divide the square root by two. X plus two square to six, X plus four square to six.
Okay, more foil. What is the first going to be? Square. What is the outside going to be? Um, yeah, where you can't really do anything, it's just kind of a matter of where do you put the x at. 4x squared of 6. What's the inside? No, inside is these two. 2x two squared of 6. Okay, we're not really doing anything, we're just kind of squishing it together because you can't simplify 2 times square of 6 times x, so we're just kind of rewriting it. Um, this last one, so 2 squared of 6 times 4 squared of 6. No. So what's 2 times 4? Since all this is multiply, 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 you can multiply whatever you want to together. 2 times 4 is 8 times square root of 6 times square root of 6. What's square root of 6 times square root of 6? 6. So all together this is 8 times 6. So 48. 48. Now that last step your calculator could, could do because it's just a number. There's no x's involved. What else? Can I do anything else here? Combine the x squared? These two guys are like terms, right? They're both x squared of sixes. So it's x squared plus six x. Six x squared of six plus forty eight. Twenty-three. Three plus two i squared. How do I do three plus two i squared? We kind of did one of these earlier. So you just have to take the whole thing times itself. So it is a foil problem again. So the first. We did some of these imaginary multiplying stuff in the past. Uh, outside is what? 6i. Inside? 6i. It's really this last one that people get wrong. What's 2i times 2i? 4i squared. 4i squared. The I, right, the i squared is negative 1, so this becomes a negative 4. So we have 9 minus 4, 5, and plus 6i plus 6i is plus 12i. 